Now you may think that we just dress like these four gentlemen right here all day, every day, 24-7. But no, and we also don't eat a haggis. I don't know why Americans say a haggis, because a haggis is not an animal on this planet. Now despite all that, we're actually good at something. Scotland is renowned for making games. Dundee, the city of Dundee, is the capital of game making. And here we go with the top games made in Scotland. First up is a 1991 game Lemmings by DMA Design, created by David Jones and Mike Daly. The object of the game is to get the green haired men with blue suits out the door using all the obstacles possible. Umbrellas, blocking, the lot, everything, what a game, hardest game I've ever played and I was, I was only one years old when this game came out, it's fantastic. Made in Dundee by DMA Design. And the next one is Crackdown series, all of the Crackdown games, not just Crackdown 2, it's the only one I had. It was created by Real Time Worlds and again David and Jones, the, the guy who created Lemming. So the game's a third person shooter, drivable, hit anything, fly. flying the lot, you can punch, mm -hmm. kick, this jump, is a anything you want, it's a great game to shooter. The object of the game is we are working for the agency, you're a clone, and you need to bring back Pacific City to its oh, lawful yeah. right. Now this needs no introduction, it's the Grand Theft Auto series, and why not, it's created by DMA Design by once again David Jones and his team. It all started in Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 in London, although I'm showing you GTA 3, this was the first one that went 3D and it was absolutely fantastic. Get some sleep. What are you going to do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. When this game came out I absolutely shat a brick, this was the best game I had ever played, the graphics at the time look next to real life, it's actually good, and for a game it's a parody of Scarface and a parody of American Life. And just like Vice City, the previous title was also created by Rockstar North in Edinburgh when this game came out. I couldn't believe it, it was the best game I'd ever played, the graphics were absolutely amazing at the time, and the two player mode, oh my god, what a game. And once again, made by Rockstar North in Edinburgh, in Scotland, Grand Theft Auto 4, this came out when I was 16 I think and I got it two weeks early and I had to play it offline so I wouldn't get banned. I was dying to play online because it was the first Grand Theft Auto to have multiplayer and it was absolutely fantastic, although the driving, the driving was pretty shit. This game set the bar for graphics, 3D design, everything, multiplayer gaming, it set the absolute bar and it won awards and sold multi-million pounds of copies. But then, after years and years of waiting, it finally came, Grand Theft Auto 5, with Grand Theft Auto Online. The way they made this game just blew my mind. I couldn't believe how actually good it was. I played this for months, months, years, the lot. It was absolutely amazing. And a lot of my friends still played it until the end when we got bored. And as with any other Grand Theft Auto game, there's always links to the roots. Just like I'm showing you here. With Willie, the bass player from Love Fist, dancing outside the hotel with a salt half line. What other way to spend just an Andrew's day than playing Grand Theft Auto 5? Well, thanks for watching my video and if you did really like it please hit the like button and please subscribe. It'll be here somewhere around my fingers. If you want to see any more videos I'll put two videos round about here so you can click on the next video or the previous video and while you're there check out my ch channel trailer if you're interested in subscribing. And thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!